Zer's in the hangar in the tower and he's currently selling Merciless, which is a pretty good fusion rifle, specifically this season considering the seasonal artifact is all about fusion rifles. I would highly suggest you pick it up. It does have a catalyst as well if that's what you're interested in uh, as well. Uh, again, I always say this, if you don't have it, you might as well pick it up. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Uh, for hunters, we get shards of Galinar with horrendous stats. But at the same time, you're never going to use this. You're never going to have this on all the time. This is literally a switch to, to use your super exotic. So you shouldn't have this all the time. It would be cool if we got some bonus, but hits and kills with with blade barrage will return super energy after these super ends. Remember that this is capped at 50%. So uh, do that with what you will. But uh, again, if you don't have it, might as well pick it up. One-eyed mask for the titans, which the stats are really bad. I think the high mobility is just no. Like, you don't want high mobility on titans ever. Uh, strength is pretty good, but if you don't have it, might as well pick it up because this is still a really good exotic. Uh, you, If you win your 1v1s often, then you're going to have overshield a lot. So I highly suggest this one. And for Warlocks, you get Geomag Stabilizers, damaging targets with Chaos Reach extends its duration. Obviously, you're going to want this for Chaos Reach. It doesn't top you off anymore, but I think that's a good thing because this is already doing too much considering this, the Chaos Reach extends a lot. Uh, stats on it are fine, but the, again, this is something you pull out uh, when you're about to use your super and not all the time. So again, this is not that big a deal stat wise. Legendaries, we got Dire Promise with Snapshot Sights and Rangefinder. Uh, it's fine. Your poor man's, uh, it's a poor man's Dire Promise, I'm not going to lie. Snapshot Sights is fine. Uh, Rangefinder is fine. It's just, uh, you really want range, like a lot of range on this bitch. So for me, I'm, I, that's a hard pass. Escape Velocity, Grave Robber, and Quick Draw. I, I mean, range is cool. I just, I don't know if I would, if I would particularly use this. Um... Aculos SMG with Grave Robber and Vorpal Weapon. Again, this one's really good if you're looking for a uh, specific build and or you're using the uh, the Warmind build. So scoop definitely scoop that up. For main, main ingredient, you get Under Pressure and Tap the Trigger. They, these two are pretty fucking dope because obviously Under Pressure improves your stability and grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. And obviously, fusion rifles excel with stability, and you even get like a stability masterwork, which is pretty good. So overall, I, I would recommend this. This is probably going to be really gross in PvP. Uh, Truth Teller, you get a feeding frenzy and swashbuckler. I personally wouldn't fuck with this, just because if you're using a grenade launcher, half the time you're not in like melee range. So I wouldn't use this. But again, like if you if you don't have a Truth Teller, this is a good roll. Not gonna lie, and it does have blinding grenades or concussion grenades so that's pretty cool i know people are would look for those two specifically steel sabil so this is pretty interesting it has relentless strikes and whirlwind blade this is your poor man's version of uh guillotine because this is definitely what you want especially with jagged edge so i would recommend this if you don't have a god roll sword legendary sword specifically so i mean you definitely want a guillotine even though swords have been nerfed they're still really good so if you don't have one or you just want to have it just because it has those two perks i might you might as well get it and last but not least you get a bottom dollar with outlaw and dragonfly i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big fan of this uh role specifically outlaw is super dope but dragonfly is just kind of like whatever's so yeah if you don't have a bottom dollar i mean this is going to be a good one for you to start off with but it's it's one of those like this is a start out weapon until you get a better one and last but not least, we get the uh, the Wild Hunt armor from Season of the Hunt. And that's pretty high recovery. That's pretty cool. But really low mobility. That's unfortunate. Uh, this one's pretty good, considering you can actually uh, bump up the health. So you're going to get 16, 20. Eh, that's fine. Overall, uh, it's, looking, it's looking pretty cool. Uh, so let's look at my exotics real quick. Or let me get this exotic. Radiant Dance Machines. Oh, man. I no no I'm not using that. So let me know your thoughts and comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point and I will see you guys later.